guys, it's Evan from Evan 2 HD, and we're back with another Lego Simpson set. Today we have the Quickie Mart. This is set 71016. It's recommended for ages 12 and up, and it's 2,179 pieces. You get six minifigures, a Pooh, Bart, Homer, Marge, Chief Wiggum, and Snake. It's a pretty big box. Here's a look at the back of it. Oh. It shows some security cam footage. It looks like it has a lot of cool play features. And you can recreate a bunch of scenes from the show. You also get a bunch of accessories, like donuts, slushies, cereal, and reading material. Okay, let's open this up and check it out. So we have bag number two, bag eight, bag three, bag five, bag six, bag two, bag five, Bag seven, bag number four, some blue pieces, bag six, bag four, bag six, bag eight, bag five, bag three, some loose pieces. Here's the instruction book you get, and you also get two sheets of stickers. Man, there's a lot of stickers here. Okay, let's build the quickie mark. Quickie Mart, and let's start off with the minifigures. First up, we have Bart. This is just like the other Barts that we have. He's got the blue and yellow legs and the red t-shirt. He comes with a little spray paint can so he can vandalize the Quickie Mart. Next up, we have Homer. He's got the white shirt and blue pants, a head with a couple hairs on top. The hair on the back of him looks like Charlie Brown's t-shirt. No! Next up, we have Marge. She's the same as well. She has her green dress with her pearl necklace and her tall blueberry hair. And she comes with a little purple shopping basket. Next we have the owner of the Quickie Mart, Apu. He comes with a broom that he uses for sweeping or for chasing out shoplifters. This one is different from the other Apus because he has his Quickie Mart uniform on. But you can still see the three hairs on his chest. He has gray pants to match his gray hair and he's got a little mustache. Next we have Chief Wiggum. We have a bunch of Chief Wiggums, but this one has donut splatter. He comes with a little nightstick. He's got his blue uniform and blue hat. He has a pair of handcuffs printed on him, as well as a badge. This is different than the other Chief Wiggums because he has frosting on him. He's got some on his shirt and some on the corner of his mouth. This guy needs some napkins. And finally, we have Snake the Jailbird. This guy comes with a pair of handcuffs. He has dark blue pants with a matching vest and a light blue t-shirt. There's a snake tattoo on his right arm. He also has some whiskers and an earring on his right ear. He has an orangey brown mullet. It's all business in the front, but a party in the back. 
Now let's take a look at the big boy, the quickie mark. Okay, here's a look all the way around the outside. On the front, we have a big Quickie Mart sign. We also have a little bike rack down here. We have some purple boxes. We have two payphones. Wait, what's a payphone? I guess that's what you use when your cell phone runs out of batteries. There's also a little Quickie Mart parking only sign and a couple ads on the window. You can open up the front doors like this. Right over here, we have a little dump area. The little door hinges up, and there's a stopper to keep it open. Inside, there's a little blue dumpster, and you can slide it out like this. You can open it up, and inside, there's two little black garbage bags. On the side of the garbage area, we have some more signs. Right here, we have some graffiti from Bart that says El Barto. One says no dumping. One says wanted for treason. Right next to that's a little fan. And there's another poster that says 30 lost cats, call me. Right here you can see where it hinges open. And we'll open that up in a bit. And on the back there's a poster with Ned Flanders and a door that says employees only. And you can open up this door and there's a mouse eating cheese inside. There's also a little mouse hole right next to the door. And you can access it from the inside as well. And on this side there's two more posters. One says Spider Pig the Musical. There's also another poster that says Springfield Seafood, 50% more fish eyes. And on the top, we have a Pooh's rooftop garden. So there's three big skylights. We've got some carrots growing, as well as some other vegetables. On the other side, we have a ventilation fan. And there's also a couple doors to access the roof. But when you open them up, they don't really go anywhere. There's some writing up here that says that Pooh loves Majula. Okay, that was a look at the outside. Now let's take a look at the inside. And the whole thing opens up from the back like this. Ooh. There's a little pin that holds the whole thing together. And you can just remove the rooftop like this. So there's a lot to see in here. These product racks are removable, so I'm gonna take these out and show you guys in more detail. They're just attached by two little studs, and you can switch them around if you want. On one stand, we have some boxes of Crestios. We got some cans of soup. It looks like some cartons of milk or cow food. Actually, I don't think this is milk because it's not in the refrigerator. So maybe it is cow food. Then we have some dog food underneath there. It looks like there's a sale on some colorful jars. And we have some bananas and apples. Some of the containers don't have labels, so you can just use your imagination. On the other rack, we have a sign that says Quickie Mart, yesterday's food at tomorrow's prices. So I guess that means that Pooh's ripping people off. He's selling old food at inflated prices. On this side, we have some perfume, and underneath there we have dry diapers. And on the other side, we have some pastries. It looks like chocolate chip cookies. We have some more soup for one, and something green. Kind of looks like sod for your lawn. Over here we have some refrigerators. The doors just swing open like this. So we have some milk. Looks like some kind of a dessert. We have other bottles and curtains. In this one we have some juice and other drinks. And in this one we have a frozen Jasper. Right next to the freezer we have a security camera. Right here is a little checkout counter. We'll put a poo here so he can go to work. There's a little sign that says no checks, no credit cards, and no food stamps. So a poo only accepts cash. There's a little cash register. There's mustard, ketchup, and napkins. It's supposed to be next to the heat lamp dogs. But when you open up the set, the counter separates. And it reveals a hot dog that dropped. Right when you enter, there's a big welcome mat. There's a bunch of magazines that have printing on them. These are the one thing that you didn't have to put stickers on. Behind the counter, there's a jackpot lottery machine. And there's a giant squishy maker. Looks like there's some grape and lime flavors. And there's a big green mess on the ground where some spill. In the corner, there's a little arcade with two video games. There's a great white hunter and bone store. There's an orange and black Buzz Cola machine. We also have another food machine next to it. And moving on to this panel, we have the other side of the counter. We have some donuts on a rack. We got some hot lamp dogs cooking. We have the other magazine rack. There's a coffee machine. We have another set of refrigerators. Once again, we have a security camera that's protecting the refrigerator. But on the other side, we have an ATM machine that says easy money. 
but the camera is pointed the other direction. So I guess they don't need security for that. Okay, now let's take a look at the last little panel. We have one more little refrigerator. We got some more drinks on top. Looks like some moldy green cheese and some Buzz Cola on the bottom. We have boxes of power sauce here with a big power sauce sign. And we have the other access to the storage room. And it says keep out. And when you open it up, you can see the mouse's tail. Okay, I'm gonna put these back in here now. So there's a lot of stuff in here, it's pretty cool. But I did notice one thing that's missing, a bathroom. Uh-oh, time for a potty break. <laughs> Don't worry, I built the poo the ultimate bathroom. Check this out. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I can't believe my eyes. My very own sparkling ice toilet. Woohoo! Okay, so that was the quickie mark, but that's not all you get. You also get Chief Wiggum's police car. For the license plate, it says number one doofus. It's got blue and red lights on the top. It's got some doors that can swing open. And there's a bunch of stickers on this. There's stickers on the doors. And there's 911 stickers on the back. It's got some side mirrors. To insert the minifigures, you have to take off the roof like this. We have a steering wheel and a little shifter. There's some gauges on the dash and some crumbs of an eaten donut. There's room for two minifigures in the front and one in the back. There's also a little safety gate to keep the prisoners out of trouble. Since there's one more seat, I'll stick in Homer for a ride along. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Then we just put the roof back on and off we go to the jail. Hey, get me out of here, I'm innocent. Oh, and you can even open up the trunk of the car. You can put some tools in here or maybe even a crying baby. Hey guys, that was the Simpsons Quickie Mart. It was full of details and a lot of playability. Hopefully they make more Lego Simpsons sets so we can build the whole entire Springfield. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!